Do you want to just we can touch it? I don't mind. I've already been catching bear controversy after the last one, bear as well. Probably. Is it? What did you say? Well, I don't know. I bet girls are going to be pissed off in it. That man's trying to say that you have to that you should wear heels. Oh, isn't yeah. It? yeah, I don't so, care. <laughs> should we do it? Yeah, fuck it, man. All right, last topic is um, basically should transgender people be able to use whatever toilet they want? Um, I think a- no. Oh, wow. I okay. disagree. <laughs> a uh, city in America, I think it was like Carolina or something. Yeah, I know the state was Virginia, but basically... Um, yeah, I don't I know think this city or state this, or whatever. I think this... Um, they they banned transgender people folk from this, going this into... This 16-year-old girl identifies as a male, isn't it? So she's a transgender. And basically, the student was banned from using the boys' toilet and uh, the courts are trying to appeal. U- a US appeal court has ruled that a Virginia school policy that barred a transgender student from using the boys' toilet is discrimi- discriminatory. discriminatory. So it's saying like it is discrimination. But there's also, I think in North Carolina, a whole state or city is trying to say that um, basically they they want the transgender people to go into the toilets that they they were born as basically and yeah. they're, they're not um conforming to the the rest of the country's laws or whatever and i think i think it's a big kerfuffle out there and it's there's some madness going on um i'm not 100 percent sure where it is and how how wild it is because i don't live there in it yeah so um that's that's what i know but this this still relates to the topic, but yeah. you think it's, it's they shouldn't be able to go into whatever toilet. Yeah, I think you should go into the toilet that your body is Why? in right now. Who cares? No, because like if you have a vagina and you're going into the girl's toilet, or you have a penis and you're going into the female's toilet, what's going to stop me from walking into the girl's toilet saying no, I'm a girl? Because you're a guy and you don't want to be a girl. But what you so you think that allowing transgenders to go into these toilets is going to it's gonna. Somehow, it's, the, it's the same thing. You think, that it's you just think terrible down men. Barriers. You think terrible men are going to start trying to go into female toilets and stuff. That's one of the things that could happen. That probably happens already. Maybe, but I weren't even thinking of that. But that, that's another thing that could happen. I just feel like there's just gonna be no rules to go into so toilets. What? Who the fuck, bro? You go into the store, you piss, and then you you bust out. Like what? What's... No, it's a private area for like. Like, exactly, especially for like, females. You're not. You're not more than males. Like we don't give a fuck, really, because we piss behind trees and yeah. like, we don't give a fuck. But for <laughs> females, it's a personal place. Yeah, but what do you think? These transgender people are just gonna be humping your leg or whatever. They're gonna go into the toilet, fucking piss or take a shit and bust out. Like what? what do Some you think of them. Do? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they are probably gonna do you that. You think they then... want to draw attention to themselves? No, probably not. But I don't know. I don't care. But all I know <laughs> is that if you have a penis, you shouldn't be in a girl's toilet. It's just, it's just, it's just facts. It's just how I was brought up. It's just how it is. Yeah. And if I you have that. a vagina, you shouldn't be in the boys' toilet. Like I wouldn't mind if a hot girl rolled up in the toilet and then tried to harass me. If it was an ugly girl and she just went into the boys' toilets to take a piss, would you be upset? Ugly girl. I'd be. I'd be. I wouldn't be upset if I, if I saw a girl in the boys' toilet and she was butters, I wouldn't chat to her, innit? I will just be baffed. I'll be looking at her and I'll probably Snapchat her. Like, but you wouldn't be upset? I, I wouldn't you'd be, be upset. You'd be cool no. with that happening? I wouldn't be cool with it. I'd would you want to make it illegal? Would I make it... Would I, isn't that illegal already? I don't know, but would you make it illegal? It should be illegal. If it wasn't illegal, would you make it illegal? Yeah. Okay. But if I see a painting walking to the boys' toilet... But it's cool if she's paying. I'll be like, yo... It's cool if she's paying. Yeah. <laughs> You can't, just, you can't just say, yeah, attractive people can do whatever they want. You can't just... No, 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 no I'm, not, I'm saying it's wrong, though. Like, sometimes a crime is wrong, but it pleases you. You get yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I <laughs> Do you hear what I mean? So if I... Like, I would... I'd, I'd know in my mind, like, you shouldn't be in there. So I'd mm. ask her, like, oh, what are you doing in there? But if it's a butters thing, I don't want to chat to you. I'm just going to keep it moving. <laughs> but I still want to know what you're doing here. But I just wouldn't ask because I don't really like talking to strangers. I don't, I don't think it's that deep for like transgenders to be able to go into whatever um, toilet they want to do. They want to be in. Because unless you feel like the, all transgenders are going to start raping women or something. Or start No, I don't even see it like that. I just see it as... Boys use boys' toilet, girls use girls' toilet. Yeah, but if this and person... transgenders should have a transgender toilet. Fair enough. I think there should be a other toilet. If there's a disabled toilet, why aren't there a transgender one? But that's like saying... 
People are going to say that you just said transgender people are disabled, you know. They're going to, they're going to twist your words. That, that is a statement. <laughs> really. the, the comparison is almost a statement. That could be... If that was on Twitter, that would be a madness right about that. <laughs> You'd be getting the social justice war- warriors from every direction. It'd be a madness. Um, but, yeah, I think if they, if they had another toilet, that would be great. But that's... Look at how much manpower that's going to fucking cost. Every fucking company is going to have to create another toilet for... So, wait... Transgenders. So, what, so like, because I don't really understand them. So, like, transgenders, so, like, what, do they class themselves as a male, female, or a transgender? They, if they transgender, if they transfer, I don't know, I was going to say transform. <laughs> I guess they do transform. If they transformed into a man, then they class themselves as male. And if they transform into Wait, a, so what's the, a girl, then they class on, themselves on as female. These, on but some these, people, like, there's so many like wild people out there who like call themselves gender fluid and all this sort of shit and say that they don't they don't have a gender and all this mm. sort of crap so a transgender person could also identify as that so you never know like people just don't want to be boys and girls these days it's not it's not as simple as it was when we were growing up so what toilet <laughs> what toilet do you <laughs> transgender people want to use like the the ones that change into guys want to be in the the guys toilet so that's girls that got a dick they want to be in guys toilets or maybe if they haven't even got the dick yet but they're taking like the hormones and they've got a beard they they probably want to go into the guys toilets and the the men who transformed into girls want to go into the girls toilets because mm, right. forcing a, a I just think if you've a got trans- a penis gender person, I, don't, I don't know how it looks on the outside but if you've got a dick use the boys toilet and if you've got a vagina I don't know how it looks on the so outside so if they cut off the dick then they can go into the girls toilets is that what you're saying? If they got a vagina, then yeah. But if they if they still got the dick, then they can't go into the. If you cannot stand and pee <laughs> properly, I think that's then fair. Go I think sit that's down fair. in the girls' toilet. I think that's fair because um, like if you haven't committed to it and you haven't chopped yeah. off the dick yet, then I I don't really believe you at this yeah. point. Like, are you? You're a dude. Are you? Yeah. Are you really a transgender? Got, or are you just you, you know, know chilling, trying to get into the girls' toilets? Your like, gender. It, it, your, your gender could counts be, on it could what? be anyone. What sexual organ you have? Because any guys can just fling on a wig and just say that I'm I'm transgender now and try to go into the exactly that's what I'm trying to say as well. Be, yeah, um, be video and stuff. But if you have chopped off the dick, then then I, I believe you've you're committed to the cause. And but there's still are... but there might be people who are broke and they want to be girls, but they haven't got the money to chop off the dick. So is that fair on them? Nah, broke has never been fair. <laughs> so you're just saying you're just how... broke people no nah, broke has never been fair I'm one of you lot trust me it's like, not fair out here it's not fair we just gotta deal with it though you get me stress <laughs> stress so you're saying even those people shouldn't be able to go into the, the toilets they identify just, as just just go into the toilet because then fuck up the whole what? system because yeah. any guy with a dick can get into anywhere yeah if just go into the toilet of yeah. what, what you have what you own Mm. It's, it's 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 a mad topic fam. I can't even believe we're talking about it it's just it's so strange there's so many different like variables and whatnot in, involved in it as well yeah um, flipping oh, I can't I think it was Charlemagne saying that like it seems like oh no actually it might have been TK Kirkland but it was in that interview where they said someone said do you feel like heterosexuals have now are slowly losing their rights and it made me like yeah that was the we're other topic we're not losing though. our rights just like gay people and uh, people who aren't like just heterosexual or cisgender as they call it and heterosexual what do they call it cisgender that's just people who identify as the gender they were born as um instead of calling it normal in it because then it says it's saying that everything else is abnormal oh so we're cisgender yes that's, that's, how, you have to, <laughs> that's how you have to refer to it we're cisgender guys basically <laughs> Um, this is hilarious. I think um, yeah, there people new every people day. tiptoe around um, other people more, like people who yeah. aren't cisgender. Yeah, they, they, the cisgender people tiptoe and, around and, them and tiptoe and around shit. other people that have different um, uh, sexualities. Yeah, and what? No, I forgot the words. I don't know the words for these things, isn't it? You talk about transgender. I don't want to offend. No, different genders, different sexualities. No, for what you? Yeah, what your um. What your sexual preferences? Yeah, that's sexuality. Yeah, that flipping um. Yeah, everyone's just politically correct now. Yeah. <laughs> so it, no, to me it seems I wanna, like I don't want to be like. Man, I don't it seems like the heterosexual anyone. cisgender people. I don't want to offend anyone either. Yeah. It feels like the heterosexual cisgender people are losing rights, man. We're losing. We're not our losing rights. rights. We just 
don't have as much our, our, prominence our, our, as our opinions like, don't gay mean rights. Shit we no don't. More. We we don't have straight our rights. Our opinions don't mean shit, fam. No, your opinions still mean don't stuff. Mean shit. Yeah, it does. We're, we're, but if no one's politically correct around us, no, no, no one's politically correct around Why? you. But no, if fuck, man. if if you was to <laughs> say, oh, I'm outraged at this program or, or whatnot, yeah, and you was to like get like ten men to say they're outraged too, who are like heterosexual like men or whatever. Mm. No, because you're black, it might actually make a difference. To be honest, if you were a white man and you said you were angry about a program and you got ten other white men to fucking talk about this program and say you hate it on Twitter, the company probably wouldn't care. But yeah. if you was a gay guy, probably if you was a gay white guy, it'd probably be great as well. If you're a gay white guy and you got ten other guys like gay white guys to say that you it's hate something, it's probably gonna turn into something. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's just the way it is because the you know the set. I don't want to say norm because then it's saying everything isn't like the set norm is a straight white man basically like that is that is what well, is basically who's in power yeah straight yeah. white men are in power basically and everyone else is fucked yeah like, um, even, some, even way, some straight white men are fucked for a minute man even some straight <laughs> white men are fucked so the straight white men and other people are expected to be politically correct around like black people Asian people all that sort of shit like we're all yeah, to we're starting to realise how straight white men felt and well, like how racist right. people felt. So now you're saying every straight person is um, at a disadvantage? No, not not really. Wait, at a disadvantage? Yeah, yeah, I agree. What, politically yeah. or... No, just... What kind of disadvantage is it? No, I'm just starting to realise now how... Um, Maybe someone that would come across... No, not even a racist person, because a racist person just doesn't like other races. Um, just as a... Oh, how can I say this? All right, you know, obviously, before black people or Asians came into the country, it was majority more white people, you know what I mean? And Probably. then they stay. Then when they did come, obviously, after slavery and shit, now they got us... And when they started... Like, this word racism came in... Yeah. Like, this must have been such a new thing for them and they didn't really know how to deal with it. Like, they've been living such a, a, such a certain way for yeah. so long yeah, yeah. and it's hard, you know what I mean? It was hard for them. It must have been so hard for them to realise, like, they, they can't be saying nigger yeah. <laughs> to these black people and coon and treating them like shit and then started realising, like, yo, like, like they, we got to treat them differently or whatever, blah, blah. Mm. And now I'm starting to realise that... Uh, as as all this transgender shit and all this different sexualities <laughs> and shit is happening, yeah. no, because it's not like I hate you. Yeah, it's not like I hate gay people. Or I hate trans- transgender people. But then it's people. probably a good thing. Then, well, maybe I don't know. I don't, I know, guess, if I'd I don't know. know as far to say it's, it's a good thing, but not discriminating against people is generally good. Letting people just do whatever they yeah. want if it's not I don't, affecting I don't, you is fine. I don't think I dis- I might I might accidentally discriminate from to between some people, and I don't. But I don't. I definitely don't hate anyone. I don't have no malicious in my heart that I feel like these people should die or whatever. I don't mm. hate anyone. It's just the fact that I'm just not used to it and it's just weird to me. Yeah, in like 50 <laughs> years, it'll probably just be normal. But it'll probably just be normal, yeah. Like, my nephews and nieces are, you know, like, free. Like old, They're probably going to live. white men. Like, that's how you're feeling right I'm now. Fe- yeah, feeling that's like what I'm trying to say. Man, I'm yeah. feeling like how the old white men were feeling when, yeah, so when it's, we it's were coming probably, up. It's probably a good thing then because it, it was a good thing that um, white people aren't saying nigger and whatnot. Yeah, and I guess, but uh, yeah, so it's only because we can relate to that. Like, it's f- it's from our perspective, mm. but we can't relate to them. Like, I can't personally relate to any of these other people, so I can't, so I can't see it from their perspective. But yeah. when I think about it on a race perspective, and it slightly is the same thing. And it's just the way they're living their lives. Like, who, why, why would, why would it be cool for anyone to discriminate against them? Like, they're yeah. just living their lives the way they. But I guess the difference is, uh, this is probably gonna. St- like shake up some things and no, I might, you say, I might, I might you catch live, you live I might, your life right or something. No, I might catch a couple acts on this or whatever or dislikes. You might lose, you might get some unsubs for this, Jay. I don't know. But basically, I, might, I was born this way, innit? I was born black. I don't think gay people are born gay. I don't think, and obviously, transgender people weren't born transgender. You was born with a dick. Like, you mm. get what I mean? So that's just my personal opinion. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't have a clue because I'm not gay um, so I don't know if people are born gay or, or not um, I, I don't know if people are born thinking that they're a girl but they're actually a guy I, I, I don't know that's all very confusing to me I personally I think it's it's a lot of like the media 
and just external factors. So I don't I I wouldn't believe that anyone would like just be grown up in complete seclusion and like be a guy from birth and then be like, you know what, I, I actually wanna be a girl or something unless they were like really infatuated with their mother or sisters and something like that. So maybe I, I don't know. Is there's just loads of different factors that could go into it. But I think once you start seeing that right. being a transgender person is possible and changing into a girl is possible, you're gonna be more open to the idea and it's gonna be an idea that's in your mind and you might actually like go and do that. So I think definitely having the transgender um and I think it I don't think he can be born a certain way. I think it matters how you're brought up. Yeah. Because if you put a baby with a pack of dogs or a pack of wolves from birth and it grows up, it's going to grow up as a dog or as a wolf or a monkey, whatever animal you put it up with. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, whatever yeah. you've been seeing, it's whatever you've I think been it's more. I think it's more life. nurture than nature. Yeah, it's more nurture than nature. I don't think you're born with the desires or whatever. I think yeah. you just, you, you grow into them yeah. more and stuff like that. I think yeah. that makes much more sense. And I think anyone that's, basically, hearing anyone say that they're born gay, it's like, how, how would you know? Like, do you <laughs> yeah, remember when you were... <laughs> born like at some point you realized you were gay that doesn't mean you were born gay that means you 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 grew maybe you grew into it or you learned that this was something that you enjoyed and you went through that path like unless you remember how you were as a baby and you was like you know what i really want some dick or if you're a girl it's like i really want some none but i don't think anyone was like that as a baby no no one knew about sex as a baby yeah so it's probably more nurture than nature but yeah, it's all mad. <sighs> this is the world we live in. <laughs> that's, that's the podcast. Yeah. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Um, uh, like and repost on SoundCloud. Leave us a comment too. Let us know what you think tell, on tell SoundCloud your, and YouTube. Tell all your friends about it. Your straight yeah. friends, your gay friends, transgender <laughs> friends, yeah. your male friends. Let's your have a discussion, friends. man. Let's have a discussion. That's what Hashtag this is talk all about. about yeah. We like talking about stuff. We like having a discussion. If you got a different opinion, bring it to us so we can, you know, listen to it and see if it changes our opinion. It's, it's all, all about learning. It's from all each opinions. Other. Yeah. It's not. These aren't facts. Um, well, most of the shit that we talk about aren't facts, but. Yeah, it's all, just, <laughs> it's all just opinions and interesting stuff. So let us know what you think. Uh, be sure to review, rate, and subscribe on iTunes. iTunes and whatever podcasting app you're using. And we'll see you guys next time. Safe. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you